video will describe how to use the ACD Labs iLab interface for predicting NMR spectra, whether it's carbon, proton, fluorine, nitrogen, phosphorus, as well as their associated databases. Uh, the predictors and databases are located on the left hand side of the screen, just under the modules header. Just to the right of it, we have our structure interface where we can either draw in the structure, use our ACD Labs dictionary, which has over 160,000 names. Uh, you can upload the structure, whether it's a mole file or a chem sketch or a chem draw file or ISIS file. You can copy and paste from another drawing package or enter in the small notation. In this case, what I'm going to do is just paste from our clipboard. And as soon as you paste in the clipboard, uh, you'll notice that it generates some basic FizzChem properties. By clicking on the predictor, our NMR predictor algorithms will generate a simulated uh, NMR spectrum. Now, our NMR algorithms, prediction algorithms, are the gold standard within the industry. And as you can see from the spectrum, you see that it's been able to simulate a number of different uh, proton shifts. As you hover over the peaks for one split, you'll notice that it has actually highlighted the protons that it corresponds to, as well as the chemical shift and atom number, uh, as well as the coupling constants associated with it. So as you move from one peak to peak to another, you notice that it highlights another uh, region within the uh, within the atom or within the uh, structure. You can adjust some of the visual parameters within the uh, uh, spectral uh, interface by clicking on these uh, icons seen here. Whether or not you want to show the chemical shifts, the atom numbers, as you can see, you have the ability to turn on or off the uh, splitting. You also have the ability to switch the, uh, the scale, uh, zoom in and out, or look at uh, the integrals as well. Again, you can simply by clicking on the carbon NMR predictor, it will generate the associated carbon uh, NMR spectrum. By clicking on download report, you'll be able to download either a PDF or Evernote file that has the spectra as well as the tables and structures associated with it, as seen here. So you have the associated uh, spectrum as well as the tables and some of the uh, uh, predicted errors associated with the chemical shifts and couple of constants. Now, if we want to look at the uh, carbon or proton or phosphorus uh, or uh, fluorine nitrogen databases, it's just a matter of simply clicking on the uh, required database. So if we click on the proton NMR database, you'll be brought into this window. And again, you have the option of looking for similar structures, uh, substructures, or the exact structures as well as the ability to find or place some uh, restrictions upon the actual search criteria, whether it's molecular formula. In this case, if you put in C bracket 1 through 10, it will look for compounds that will have uh, carbons, uh, up to 10 carbons within the molecule itself. We have the ability to restrict the molecular weight uh, shift tolerance, coupling constants, as well as if you want to look for the name itself. Um, also, if you're looking for specific references, you have the ability to do so. Now, if we click on similar structure, and I click on search, it will look through our database of uh, proton NMR, as well as its structures, associated structures, and it will bring up uh, the top candidates. Now, because there are no uh, restrictions that I've placed, it pulls up uh, a few thousand uh, possibilities. But again, if I just simply click on the name, what it will do is it will bring up the associated structure of the, uh, the search, as well as the name of the compound, the molecular formula, 
as well as the uh, as well as the shifts uh, chemical shifts for each of the protons and again it gives you also the journal and you have the ability to download the report from uh, from the website either as a PDF or save as an Evernote file now if you want some more information with regard to how our uh, databases uh, work with regard to number of entries just simply have to click on help and you can see the number of database compounds uh, that are placed in within the NMR database so again this was just a short video on how to use the NMR predictors uh, found within the ACD labs iLab interface